Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at ntpro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you how you can upgrade an ESX 4.1 ESX host to the new ESX 5.0. So, let's start out with our 4.1 host and what I did with the Visway client is that I already configured this virtual machine with the install media, the ISO for ESX 5.0. And I'm running it in a virtual machine just to visualize how easy the upgrade process is. So you see right here, there is an ISO connected to this virtual machine. And if we want to upgrade, we want to do an in-place upgrade of 4.1 to 5.0. The only thing we have to do is uh, generate a reset and the virtual machine will automatically boot from the attached ISO. Normally it would be nice to do a real cool reboot through the command line, but to speed things up we do a reset. And what you see is that the virtual machine, in this case our ESX host, is booting from the ISO and uh, the installer is able to see if there is already an existent installation available on this host. And it will ask you if you want to override the existing data store, VMFS data store, and if you want to override the existing settings. So you have the option to do an in-place upgrade from 4.1 to 5.0. There's the old VMware logo, cool. And um, it will take a few minutes, a few minutes to, to eventually uh, load the kernel and after the kernel is loaded we will have the option to upgrade 4.1 to 5.0 so the whole graphical installation is gone it's a text-based installation uh, uh, in 5.0 and um, it's able to upgrade uh, an existing installation so we are going to do an in-place upgrade let's wait for a moment until uh, all the components are started so it's up and running and what you see right here is that the installation is about to uh, kick off and uh, we have to put in enter to continue we have to accept the end user license agreement so we have to press F11 and then it will scan your existing disks and it will check if there are already uh, files available. In this case uh, it's checking my local installation and I hit enter to continue and it's gathering additional information from the selected drive. It will take a few moments and then uh, the information will be presented. Okay, now I have the option to migrate uh, my ESX and preserve the VMFS data store. I can also do a fresh installation of ESXi and preserve the VMFS data store. Or I can install ESXi freshly and override the existing VMFS data store with VMFS version 5. So if I'm choosing for the first option, uh, all the, 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 the settings that really matter, uh, the settings that are... Uh, uh, can be can be used again in ESXi will be collected and uh, there will be an in-place upgrade from or I must say migration from 4.1 to 5.0 so there is uh, some additional information gathered it may take a few seconds and then uh, the in-place upgrade will kick off So it's uh, it's giving us a warning, and uh, the warning uh, has to do with a repartitioning of the disk. When I push F 
11. The migration will start and now the new ESX i 5.0 image is placed on my existing host. I will pause the recording for a moment because this is going to take some time. See you back in a minute. So, and we're back and the migration has completed successfully. My ESX 4.1 server has been migrated to ESX i 5.0. The only thing I have to do right now is uh, remove the CD and reboot the machine. So the server is rebooting. It will take some time until the machine is completely rebooted, but after this ESX host has been rebooted, you will see that it's running version 5.0. There it goes. And it's loading ESX I. Okay, and good luck with your own installation and upgrade path of your existing ESX or ESX I hosts. And have much fun with ESX 5.0. Eric Sloof is signing off. Bye bye.